Hi, uh, welcome to our um, ESDAC sound system tutorial. Uh, for this video, we will cover our turn on protocol for the AV room, which will cover turning on the external uh, amplifiers, turning on the Midas board, and loading our default settings. So, first thing I'll come here is turn on this power strip underneath here, this switch right here, and this is connected with another power strip that will automatically turn on mm -hmm. uh, when this one is on. And these power uh, various equipment like our input selector here, up here, which uh, helps uh, control our input for uh, various uh, video signals like the DVD player or the computer and the projectors that we have. And now uh, we move over here and we turn on this Sony amplifier down here. The power button is here on the top left corner right underneath the Sony logo. We'll just press that. We turn it on and make sure that it's set here on video. And this amplifier is the amp that provides sound to the foyer, the anteroom, to the bathroom, and to the fellowship hall. So this one is very important. And then next we turn on this amplifier here. This provides sound to the mother's room and also importantly to the translation building, um, translation department so that um, they can go and translate for uh, the Spanish um, speaking uh, crowd that comes here and visits our church. Okay, mm -hmm. and then next we will go down here and then turn on this power strip and the power strip uh, on button is right here on the right side of this power strip we'll just flip it up and then make sure that the green and red lights are on and this provides power here to the Midas board which uh, here you see there's a loading screen and it's loading up right now and then soon everything will just power up All right. okay now everything's powered up and we see that all the lights and everything's on so the first thing we want to do is to slide this right here this is our front of house or the main volume control for the entire board we'll take this and then we'll slide this up all the way here to zero or unity as we like to call it and then we'll leave this here the next thing we'll do is we'll show you how to uh, load the default settings uh, that we have that we usually use to run a uh, Saturday morning service so the first thing we will do is we'll go up here to this box that says show control and we'll press this view button right here so then we'll press it and then you see that it turns blue after we press this button next you'll see here on the uh, uh, screen display uh, you make sure that you see these tabs up here that you know that you're on the right uh, screen. Where do you uh, adjust to move the tab, I guess? To move the tab, we'll use these arrows right here. Mm -hmm. You see there's a left, right, up and down arrow. Yes. So then to load the scene that we want, we go here, you see this uh, tab that says scene. We will move the right arrow once okay. and we load scenes. And now that you see, here's a scene list that has a save of all the different mixes that we've done for this board. Now for Sabbath morning service we will load the one here, scene number four, uh, labeled default. Okay. Uh, to load the scene that we use for Sabbath morning service we will go down here and load number four scene which is labeled default. To go down there we will use this first knob here on the leftmost side and we will turn it. It will turn left, it will turn left and right and we scroll right to go down and we scroll left to go up and you know you notice here that the highlight will move up and down as you move this knob so we will go down here to default here and then to load it you see on the screen it says load to load you press this knob in it's an, it also functions as a, as a button so we load and you see it asks you here and then you press here this right arrow that says yes, okay. Mm -hmm. and then after you press it, all the the sliders will from from these first 16 channels, all the sliders will automatically go to their uh, save load position. 
now we just have to make sure that uh, the mutant but the mute buttons are are turned off. If it's red like this, then that means the mute is on. But if you press it, then that means you've turned off the mute and you're able to use the microphone. So we check. This is the podium mic, channel two, which is the podium for the mic on the stage. And then we check our wireless mics here, and then for our wired mic and our piano on right here and then as you can see they're all labeled with uh, their appropriate name and also given a corresponding color now that we've made sure that these are not muted and that everything is ready for service we'll go to the back and then turn on the amplifiers the speakers and the wireless receivers in the back room and that will be the next video in this series uh, We'll see you guys in the back room in shortly.